Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. In about a minute, my pump should beep because I'm going lower. I really ate something, but that doesn't necessarily mean a fucking thing. So should it beep, you will do me the thing. So there's no alarm going off in your house. Right? It's just my, my insulin pump very likely going to beep in a minute. In any case, what we will do here, we will look at the overall energy for the sign of Libra for the month of August 2023, before we then look at the emotional core, seeing there if there's healing that needs to happen, there's love coming in, that sort of thing. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as the percentage of CU in the month of August 2023. Now remember, Libra. You are the seventh sign, and we're just moving into the eighth month. What that means is numerically, you're moving from your number, if that makes sense, Libra being the seventh house, seventh month, into the number of stumbling blocks. And what you need to do this month, because of you being Libra, being the number before eight, you need to by default this month in August, these things from a higher point of view, so you can topple over the 8, which is the stumbling block number, <coughs> so it becomes infinity. So you will always know this Libra, that in August of any year, and of each year, you are asked and almost forced to deal with more stuff than most signs by default. Doesn't mean it's negative, it's just the way your imprint works, right, if that makes sense. And Libra is the imprint of balance and harmony. There is always, that's always what you're looking for. But remember, in order to create balance, there has to be a counterweight. So it doesn't work if, you, if only you put the work in. That's just uh, <coughs> an introductory sort of thing that comes up here. And now, before we do any of this, let me introduce you to my guest. I have a, a guest reader this month, which we have had so many times um, over the past. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in Telford. Uh, I leave the um, contact details in the description box. Um, and if you want her to come back next month or whenever, you want her back as a guest, make sure you comment, we want Claire back and we make it happen. That's how this works. We have a couple of guests that have been here numerous times because this reading part um, in August this month uh, is six years old. So we've been doing readings for over six years now, or for six years yeah, now, and I was just looking this up, there's about 390 videos, readings, wow. that have been done over the years, right? So the one thing you can't, you can't blame me for is, is for being lazy, because this channel is certainly not lazy. In any case, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023, for the seventh sign, Seventh son of a seventh son, we get this Iron Maiden thing, right? Of Libra. Here's the overall energy for your sign for August 2023. Okay, so um, what I'm getting is there's there's a gateway happening here right now for you, um, and that you need to move out of, um, if you choose to, uh, move out of stagnation. So whatever it is that you're sitting in right now, there's a gateway for it. Connect, go to that higher... Um, uh, position of um, connecting with guides, um, very much a unicorn <laughs> that's come through, which is beautiful. Yeah. Um, so uh, and and you will thrive. And um, we've got lots of unicorn um, and uh, rainbow side of things here, seeing things from a higher perspective, um, and going above and beyond. The, there is so much here. Is like it's movement. It's big movement. Like Thomas says about the stumbling blocks knock it over, you know, um, and just see above those stumbling blocks and you will fly through. So yeah, it's yeah. a good month. Absolutely. But it also has to do with the fact that, that, that you are guided this month to do just that, mm -hmm. right? Which, is, which, which means you can't just sit there, right? No. So this has to be a proactive month mm -hmm. for Libra. And again, in your imprint, because you're looking for harmony and balance, by default, you assign that weights before you act, right? It's a bit of a safer position for Libras to be in, but the energy of August doesn't support that. In any case, let's look at your emotional core. Um, this is quite interesting because you have the Aquarius energy, which is about collaboration, uh, because Aquarius is the sign of the giver and the water bearer, as it is known. Uh, but Aquarius energy 
for your emotional core it means that Aquarius is the 11th sign in the 11th house and 11 is one there's, there's, there's uh, double digit numbers which are called um, master numbers now in astrology only 11 and 22 are master numbers because only they would fit into a calendar and 11 is the strongest number when it comes to your emotional core you have the strongest vibration there is this month so this is a month to fix whatever isn't working in the relationship you're in be proactive collaborate with the partner you you have on making things work if that makes sense for reaching that uh, harmony that your sign literally craves should you not be in a relationship no worries because you're by default gorgeous so that's not a problem your problem has never been Libra your problem really hasn't been ever to manifest someone your problem is trust it has always been a Libra thing to be super cautious at times which is another thing in August to overwrite you know what you want who you know who you are and should you not be in a relationship then manifest just for the highest good to get that into your life and the, and the way to do this is because everything here is connected to the root and the root is about being grounded which is another thing that is by default Libra because you are a sign of balance now the interesting thing is that the the, the root energy here I don't know if you can see this, but it has numbers on it. So this whole deck is numbered and it has the number 38. 8 plus 3 is 11. Another 11. So you have two master numbers here. So when it comes to your emotional core, you are super in empowered. You are super in harmony. So go for what it is you want. And I don't think the universe can deny you anything. I also say, uh, that's another important thing that I just wanted to bring up. You know, Mercury goes into retrograde a lot and, and, and Venus goes into, into retrograde, you know, more than once. And a lot of people sort of talk about retrogrades and not dating someone during retrogrades. That's a common thing that they hear from, from fellow astrologers. I always say to, uh, to these astrologers because it is pointless. How the universe works is whatever is for you by default will not pass you by. So what difference does it make if there's a bloody retrograde? The difference is that retrograde makes it harder, but that doesn't mean you should just sit there. So whatever is happening, however many planets should be in retrograde, and I haven't even looked at this, there's the pump. You're late. Anyway, thank you so much for telling me something I already know. Hmm. Anyway, so where were we? Yes. Um, so don't pay too much attention this month, sounds a bit wrong, on this channel, to the astrology that is happening. Because you're Libra, you're by default imprinted and looking for harmony. So anything in retrograde will affect you. But your job is to be grounded, to then go for what it is you really want. So again, proactiveness, proactivity, is that a word? Yeah, being proactive. <laughs> um, it's really, really important. But the point is, when it comes to your emotional core, you don't have to do a lot of healing this month. You are in a really powerful place because you have two master numbers coming up and showing up for your emotional core you got this libra you got mm. this right and with that said now let's look at opportunities um as they present themselves to you in the month of august 2023 for the sign of libra you are watching thomas's tower reading please like subscribe and share sounds very rehearsed because i've been saying the whole bloody thing for six years <laughs> please like subscribe and share and if you like my work you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas okay so opportunities um uh, what's come up on here um is because we know it's it's great for you on this month and um, we're looking at take note of your intuitive messages that are coming through um unveil your gifts trust in them but a lot of this is very much about uh, bringing in joy bringing in creativity um is what i feel here more so bring in the fun the more you bring in the fun and the creativity the more your gifts are going to start to unveil and the more you'll start listening to your intuitive messages which will bring the abundance in life that you're required mm -hmm. thank you so much and remember talking about astrology <laughs> you are libra you are governed by Venus. Venus is the only planet in our Milky Way 
in other cosmos, that makes it in other galaxy, for want of a better word. That doesn't rotate the same way other planets rotate. Every planet, apart from Venus, which is the governing planet of your sign, moves anticlockwise. When you move anticlockwise, you take out what is no longer needed. Venus, by default, flows clockwise. You're putting in harmony. That is all Libra wants and all Libra does, is putting in harmony. You are the sign that is just giving until the cows come home. Whoever made up that, that <laughs> sentence, right? So what you're being asked is, because you're governed by Venus, and this is August, which means outside of the seventh sign, which is you, is to make sure that if this is what you do, constantly give, you will then notice how drained it will make you. Super important, again, this, this being proactive, being in your face really, which is not necessarily a leap of rate, um, um, will be really, really powerful for you this month, right? And also, by default, remember what element you are. You are an air sign. <sighs> Breathe. That's all we got for you this month. Right? You're exhausted yet? Guess what we are. <laughs> anyway, Libra, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you, you join us next month. And remember, there's uh, two super moons this month, so we're all a bit more affected. I recorded a video how to deal with them this month on the same channel. Please like, subscribe and share. Claire, thank you so much. Thank you. And um, we see you next month. Bye-bye.